In August 2019, I embarked on a football adventure of northern Japan. I bought a special train ticket that allowed me to only use local and rapid trains, the two slowest service types in Japan. My aim was to travel to Fukushima and then Akita to catch two games in two days. It would be a round trip of over 1000 kilometers with more than 20 hours spent on slow trains rattling through the Japanese countryside. And of course, it went wrong. Nothing's going right today. It's quite a good game. Oh, I'm a broken man. This was a football adventure of Northern Japan. Oh, it's 5.34 a.m. Let's go to Fukushima. Fukushima. Looks like a very nice city, sort of typical smaller Japanese city. A lot of it is centered around the train station. Um, apparently there's a shuttle bus that leaves from the station to the stadium, so I'll try and find that in a few minutes time. Then we'll go and check out the stadium. The camera's wonky. Nothing's going right today. On closer inspection, um, the ticket is for Fukushima United and it's a Fukushima United game that is happening today. However, there is one small problem. The game is taking place in J Village Stadium, which is about two hours from here. Um, so yeah, I have no chance of getting to this game. So there are a couple of ways of looking at this. One way is to say I woke up at 5am, sat on six different trains for six hours, for no reason. Or, you could look at it as a learning experience, that today I've learned a very valuable lesson, which is never assume anything. Um, Fukushima United play almost every home game, almost being the imperative word, at Toho Stadium in Fukushima City. Today, I'm led to believe they're playing in J Village for the very first time. So, yeah, that's basically what's happened. So now I'm in Fukushima. Um, yeah, there's, there's nothing really much more to say about that. So, um, I'm gonna just enjoy the Fukushima experience, and tomorrow morning we will forget the name Fukushima United and we'll never mention it again. And we will go to Akita. I have treble checked, quadruple checked. Akita are playing at home in Akita City. So we will be watching a football match tomorrow. But for now I'm going to relax, do nothing, probably, and go to a football game tomorrow. Fingers crossed. So let's see. Um, I'll see you again tomorrow morning, bright and early. More local trains. Let's go. So this is J Village Soccer Stadium, got a game on my phone, Fukushima United of 3 up after 25 minutes. Looks quite a good game. Tomorrow's game better be good. It's, uh, what time is it? It's quarter to six in the morning. Let's go again on the local trains. Next stop, Akita. So I made it to Akita without any problems and was delighted to find that Blaublitz Akita were playing at their usual home of Soryu Stadium against Katare Toyama in J3. 
The area around the stadium was really nice and there was a lot of activity, including a demon walking around, which is something I'd never seen at a football game before, or since for that matter. And so I settled in for a perfect evening of football. So that was the Blaublitz Akita experience, an entertaining 1-1 draw with a stoppage time equaliser for Katare Toyama. The Akita fans were fantastic throughout, very loud, lots of good chants and songs, and some brilliantly unique fans, like the guy dressed as a demon, <laughs> and the man with his dummy companions. I also got treated to a wonderful Akita sunset sky, a fireworks display, and the Mission Impossible style countdown timer for stoppage time. I was also really impressed with the Blaublitz Akita players who stayed back to sign autographs after full time. But as the fans began to leave the stadium, my thoughts turned to the next day and the long, long journey home. So good morning. Last night I stayed in a city called Yokote in Akita Prefecture. It's about one hour from Akita City. Now the time is 7.16 a.m. and it's time to get back on the local trains to go back to home in Saitama. I think there's one very tight connection, so I think if I can make that connection, I can get home at about 7.30 p.m. If I miss that connection, it's going to be about 8.30 p.m. But either way, we're looking at about a 12-hour journey back home. So let's go. Let's go back on the trains one more day. was a long long journey but here we go three stamps on the Seishun Juhaji Kip we've been to Fukushima Akita and now back to Saitama so my thoughts on this journey is it worth it well 
at the moment it feels like no because I'm in pain but the cost you, you can't argue with the cost it was 11,850 yen the bullet train to Akita one way at this time of year is about 17 or 18 thousand yen just one way a flight from Tokyo to Akita also about 18,000 yen so financially this ticket makes a lot of sense the trains were surprisingly busy um, I had to stand up a few times a um, bit of a mad rush as well sometimes trying to make the connections and trying to get a seat on some of the trains but the scenery was beautiful as you would expect um, really amazing especially when you get out into Fukushima when you get into further north into the uh, Akita really just swathes of forest farmland yeah really beautiful fantastic so yeah very nice to see comfort wise it's not very comfortable <laughs> it it hurts it hurts to be sitting down on those trains for such a long time um, but I think for the money you can't really argue you know what you're getting into you know you're not going to be traveling in luxury um, as for the football Fukushima United will not speak about <laughs> but that was obviously my fault I will go back at some point to watch them again Akita were um, were an interesting experience thank you very much for watching this I hope you've enjoyed it I hope it's inspired you to do some ground hopping in Japan or elsewhere and I am now going to sleep for about a thousand years in a bed and I can lie down flat and not think about trains ever again. So I did indeed sleep and not think about trains for a good few days after this trip. But it was a fantastic experience and I can't wait to do more journeys like this in the future. If you have any suggestions or football trips you'd like to see on the channel, let me know in the comments. And of course, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. Thank you for watching.